Hey everybody, welcome to Pug TV. This is Jadrian. We're we're doing something totally new tonight. Something really cool. Let me refresh my screen so I can watch my chat. We're doing a game by Perfect World called Rusty Hearts. So that is brand new for me. And what I've got here is the introduction to character creation. And I'm hoping you can see me because I muted the sound in game, but okay, good. Yeah, so I've got the sound of the game coming through, and it's like super loud. But I tried to get some different things muted so you'd be able to hear me over, because it's like a, it's really loud. So we'll just get going. But this is character creation, and uh, perfect. Cynic's out there. He's in the bullpen. He says he can see me or hear me, so that's good. I don't have to shout so much and eagle claw thank you for joining us so this is rusty hearts this is brand new for me at least it's been out with perfect world entertainment for uh, i mean a few months that it's been live it's a side scrolling game action based kind of game so i thought you know let, let's try something new so i have jumped into the game and this is the beginning of character creation. Once you sign in, it asks you to pick a world. Well, when I first come in, it, it tells you to want to pick like a west servers, the east servers. I picked east server because it had the, the least amount of lag. And I've only got one choice here. So we'll just choose them. And then under here, I'm guessing that they have lots and lots of room for expansion because it's showing me I've got April group and then under the April group are like a bunch of channels and so we'll go with Rusk. I'm, I went on Gorgon earlier just so I could get in here so I could set the the resolution and I really hate games that make you do character creation and start playing the game before you can adjust things like resolution so I made a person just to uh, check resolution but I didn't actually get to see her story or anything because I was just hitting the escape key you know just let me fix stuff. So now that I've got that done, I'm actually going to hop down here. Let's let's do Gina. So after you pick the east side, west side, whatever dark side you want to play on, you pick your channel. You're going to click OK for your channel. And right here, this is character creation right here. The, the four characters that they've given you are already created. They already have backstories and different things like that. And so you're just going to pick a person that you're, is going to represent you in the game. And now you can click on them. So it's not like you know you pick it and you're in. Um, but, well, kind of. Uh, let's see here. Can I go back? Because <laughs> I, if I don't like him. So there's this guy here. Now, if you double click, it's going to pull up a chance to read like a little biography about the person. So like for example, Franz Kruger, uh, man with a past full of turmoil and suffering. His life turned for the worst when he became a vampire. Ooh. Unable to resist temptation, he bit one person and then sealed the blood inside his body in order to repress his vampiric urges. He no longer turns evil but continually suffers from chronic anemia. After years of torture, he has become a bitter and cranky man, but he has a good balance of physical skills and dark magic. So that's nice. It's like a news report, you know. Oh, it's just so sad. But he has a good balance of stuff. And then you can click the weapon and see that he uses a sword and axe. Well, axe available at level 10. So here's his life rating, damage rating, his defense. So he's very strong defense-wise. Attack speed's pretty quick and attack range distance, I'm assuming. And then later on, you know, when he goes to axe, he'll do more damage. Uh, looks like he'll be slower but can reach further you know so it is real simple real simple with your character so if I didn't want this guy see that I just wanted to see okay previous screen so if I don't want him then there's this girl now I can't even read that something Angela let's see Angela Strogan a young witch apprentice, she was sent from the fog forest to battle against Vlad. Before she left her village, she was forced to fuse her soul with Graystra, a sword possessed by an evil spirit. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that is such a asterisk, asterisk, bad word setup, making your character before options. Yeah, I've, I've always hated that. 
Terrible, terrible, terrible. Through this pack, she is able to cast incredibly powerful magic spells, but the process turned her hair red and spiky. Still young, with spunk and attitude to spare, Angela may lack in strength, but more than makes up for it with her devastating array of spells. So, <laughs> my wife says, that's a ras because of the spiky red hair. Life, about halfway, so a little bit higher in damage than the other guy, but that's magic wielders always seem to be more powerful, the DPS. Yeah, Cynic points out, yeah, the words are too bright. I mean, yeah, that's like <laughs> eye bright there. Um, attack speed is, is slow, but the attack range is high because of spell distance. And then at level 10, she gets a scythe. Uh, you know, so I, I probably wouldn't play her. And, you know, and, and in a game like this, I wouldn't even care if I was playing the chick if I liked the stats because you don't get male or female versions of a witch. It's just, oh, I like the witch stats. I'm stuck with a female. So I don't see this as a dating game. <laughs> so, you know, if you see chicks in here, just assume that they're going to be guys too because they don't give you options. But anyway, I got Today McLeod or Tootie. Note that Today does not enter the main storyline until later in the game. Oh, so I don't even get to start with them. That's just a tease. Lone Wanderer with no real ties. Uh, he joined up with Franz and Angela, more or less on a whim. An unfortunate encounter in the past caused him to get an ancient wolf's tooth embedded in his chest, through which he gained a naturally immense strength and speed. However, as time wears on, his body becomes more and more infected. Already he has to protect his left arm with an armored glove. Ooh, all right, whatever that means. Oh, my, yeah, see, that's good. Just the attack range is mediocre, but he's he would definitely be the character to play. But it says he comes into play later on. I don't know, maybe, I'm wondering if maybe you get to play it now, but you, you miss part of the backstory. I'm not quite sure what that means. Like, why would they make him as an option at the beginning if you can't play him till later? I don't know. I'm going to check and see what the other other story is for this other girl. But if I have the option, I'm going to play this guy because he's got some pretty good stats. So we'll go back to previous screen. And so the last option that we have is the pistol-wielding lady. Yeah. That is bouncy. My wife's like, that's bouncy. Yes, it is. Note that Natasha does not enter the main storyline until later in the game. Uh, I guess you can play him. So the main storyline, I'm guessing then this must be played out in like chapters. And so if you want to see the storyline, if you will, from the beginning, you're going to pick one of the other people. But if you maybe have already seen some of that story and you just want to jump ahead, what exactly the story encompasses, I don't know. But anyway, it's a gun-toting beauty with a license to kill. The self-proclaimed troubleshooter wanders from town to town with her younger sister in search of monsters. While they claim to be skillful monster hunters, these sly sisters are actually master con artists. They make deals with wimpy monsters to stage fake attacks and then ride in to save the day and collect a fat reward. Oh. oh. Reminds me of the Brothers Grimm movie. Except they didn't make the deals, but they just faked the monsters, but... Anyway, I digress. So Revolver, so her life not so good, damage not so good, but she's got some range and she's fast. So she can put a lot of bullets down range. So Revolvers and then later on a musket. Hmm, okay, well, I'm I'm going to go back. So being, being a new player in here, uh, probably the smart option would be to pick one of these folks to see the game all the way through. But this guy was definitely stronger so I'm thinking maybe as a new player that might be the way to go so we'll give him a name and we'll play it now it's like yes to play prologue all right so we'll play prologue at generally any new game you start out with prologue they're gonna have some kind of tutorial so let's let's learn how to play and see what all the fuss is about. I've heard a lot of good things about this game. So, you know, side-scrolling action, you know, if that's, if that's the sort of thing that you're into, then this would be... Huh, i got to remember that quote. If you're into that sort of thing, this is... How did that go? This is the sort of thing that you will like. You like that sort of 
Ah, uh, there you go. So this is the sort of thing you would like if you like that sort of thing. Abraham yep, Abraham Lincoln said that. Not the Vampire Hunter one, but regular Abraham Lincoln. Oh, I'm, I should be reading the story. Whew! Are you sure he's not after us anymore? He won't be following us here. He's too big for this quarter. Okay, see, so so we did miss some story. It sounds clear you guys can stop running away now. Or maybe it's the prologue. Us, you were the one who panicked and told us to run in the first place. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen you move so fast. You're usually pretty lazy. Yeah, well, it's amazing what you can do when there's a giant monster chasing you. Speaking of which, heads up, Franz. He spotted us again. And I think he wants you. Uh-oh, what do we do now? Go back the way we came? We'll be trapped in the hallway if we turn back now. Let's get. Let's first get out of this hallway. Well, so the text auto advances. That's a little annoying. Didn't give me a chance to read it. Maybe if I wasn't reading out loud, I'd be able to just to and get it. But anyhow, so movement. Oh, movement is the arrow keys. Uh oh, no mouse. Well, I can see right away we got your cell shaded graphics, which I've not had a problem with. I don't mind that at all. But definitely um, anime inspired for sure. Now it said to press X. X is a normal attack. So I have defend, attack. Now I can grab somebody. Oh, yeah. All right. And then let's see here. Control. So if I just rest my fingers here, you can imagine this on your own keyboard. Z, X, and C, and then jump. So I can roll into them, grab them, grab them, and then just beat the crap out of them. Grab attack, fatal blow. All right, what did I earn? So I got me a skill. Here's my skill list. Oh, boy. So what I got to do now is learn, keep my three fingers on the Z, X, and C, and then map some of those special abilities on the ASD row. And I steer with the arrows. All right, I can do that. So uppercut I have. Oh, they're already down there. Nice. Uppercut and Dempsey roll. Throw a flurry of punches. So I just got to reach up with my fingers off of my attack. I don't think that'll be too bad. Then they give you a combo list. Okay, that's the skill mounting. I think I got that. Shift if you want to go. It looks like they give you a couple couple rows to play with there. Shift one and two. Okay, so perfect guard perfect guard, hold the Z or step is control. Huh. Well, I'm trying to do this control one here. Oh, uh, it's like double control. All right, Abraham Lincoln said, "People who like this sort of thing will find this the sort of thing they like." I'll have to write that down. Old Abe. All right, so let's close this. I don't need that no more. How can I close it out? Now, the perfect guard is hold Z. Well, we'll have to find out how to work that. All right, so we're off and running now. So I got my basic attack. Oh, hold on. That was my special attack. I got to shift my fingers here. Oh, what a pain. So basic, 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 and then uppercut. Or just bow, bow, bow. Well, so if you're not into using your specials, you can just mash your one attack key and get a little combo going. Oh, 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 oh. And section is locked. All right, so apparently now i got to be able to pick stuff up. I'm sure there's a key I can use for picking stuff up. It says press the X key. Oh, nice. So my X key does everything. Easy enough. Right click to equip items. So I've got some pants in my inventory. Right click. Now I'm wearing pants. All right. That's easy. Now 
I wonder where my character sheet is now. There it is. That didn't seem to pull nothing up. So I had a problem with this earlier. I'm clicking on, say, the system menu. It is not popping up. I actually have to hit the escape key to get that. So now, if I want to look at my character sheet, here I am clicking on the word character. Nothing's happening. Problem is, I haven't learned what my actual character key is. P, O for options, inventory, quest tracker. Okay, so Y is a quest tracker. Yeah, see, and these, these are buttons like I would not have assigned that way. Character is L. Now, the fortunately though, there is the option that you can go in and do redo your key binds. I don't know if I want to take the time to redo key binds on something that should be simply fixed. I mean, that's that's way off. L for character. So, you know, but I guess if you don't like using Z, X, and C, I, I'm sure, possibly, I don't know, I'm wondering if maybe I could even change my key binds to the mouse and really set this more up like a traditional MMO, use my WASDs to steer. That's something I'll have to investigate. All right, so as we go along here, oh, welcome Shadow Blight. All right, so clear that little area, moving right along, and we'll hit one of them combos. Oh, you just got to face correctly. So apparently your facing is going to matter. Now I've got these potions here. <sighs> so if I wanted to heal, I'm not that bad. So we'll just leave it. So it looks like you can't progress until you, you clear out a little area. So they limit how far you can go. I mean, that's not bad. I've, I've played worse. Looks like it keeps track of my hit stylish damage rank C. So it looks like he found a way in. That's it, that I don't like, but it, in order to keep the pacing of the story, the text just goes by real fast. We shouldn't do this here, everyone. Through the door, quickly, now! Oh, I get it. He comes inside, so we go back outside. Although we're kind of out in the open here. Man, this castle sure has a lot of hallways. It's not advisable to stay out in the open like this. It, I hope the story wasn't that important. Cause I know, yeah, my wife's like, you didn't even hit the continue button. Nope, the story just auto advances, so. And, ka -ka 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 -ka. and we'll do a multi hit. Let me see here. I'm going to grab one and just bash it. Grab you and bash it. And they're dead. Awesome. Yeah, you know, if nothing else, just grab them. So I have a lot of potions. That's nice. And it could be because this is the uh, tutorial. So they want to make it easy on you. Hopefully these are potions I can carry through. I think the specials were using some of the mana. I'll have to look. This doesn't sa That doesn't sound good. He was waiting for us. Outsmarted by a monster. What now? We might be able to make it to the other door before he crushes us, at least some of us. Go for it, dude. I'll cover you. He's coming. Prepare yourselves. Is that... No! Ooh, who is that? Amelia. They must know each other. Eyes up, buddy. Here he comes. Wake up! Why now? Why here? France! Well, I'm engrossed. Alright, let's see what happens. I mean, at least the animation on the cutscenes is good. You know, if you're into that kind of thing. This is probably better without the story. So let me go bash stuff. <laughs> Just go kill it. Oh, I missed the story on that. Press X. Blood, warm and metallic. I feel it in my veins, covering my heart in rust. Oh, rusty hearts.
Hmm. Well, that was a short prologue, possibly. So, there's my movement, and X looks like my main interaction key. So, let's chat it up. Accept a quest and get out. I'm a very busy woman. Well, at least there I get to decide on when to go. Quest. Meet Vincent. So report to Vincent to receive your orders. Then Franz, my mind was somewhere else. Oh, just because you're a member of the Golden Seal team, you think you can slack off? Not at all. Please continue. As I was saying, we have contained Count Vlad within the castle. Ugh. Slurin. Not enough cocoa with the castle and sealed it with a magical barrier. D-Day for the operation is six days from now. The reconnaissance team will support the Silver Knight team and the main force of the Golden Seal team by gathering intel. This is a triple S-class mission. The recon team's understanding of the current situation within the council will be the key to victory. I don't mean to interrupt, but can't we just speak to Major Nadia? I'm sure she can fill us in on all the mundane details. Is that why you thought it would be okay to daydream? If you had been paying attention, you'd know that the Major is too busy to deal with it yourself right now. In the meantime, there's actually work for you here, if you're not too proud to do it. This is a waste of our time. Just let Nadia know that we have arrived. I've already submitted report to Major Nadia. Would you like to hear her response? They just now got there? What a bunch of slackers. I'm too busy with the investigation to deal with that moody man. Just keep them busy with something like scouting the sewers for now. Unfortunately, that sounds just like Major Nadia. Then I guess it's time for you to go to work. I suppose so. I'm sure that sewer comment was just a joke though, right? Naturally. However, the recon team found a network of canals that's connected to the castle. I want you to provide them with all the support they need to complete their investigation. Canals? That sounds a lot like the sewers to me. Guess we've got to go. Uh, no choice. Let's go. Wait a minute. I haven't finished explaining the, lo the logistics of the operation. No, I think I've heard quite enough. Oh, okay then. Meet Vincent before you head out to scout the area. He should be with Lieutenant Ryan at the Northern Gate entrance by now. Vincent is part of this operation as well. Maybe he can get me uh, that pass to see the Major. Well, alright, so deep dialogue system. Nice. Oh, there's the story going. Stop complaining let's just find a way down to the canal. The entrance is probably that way. I saw sentries there when we arrived in town. Yeah, that... Honestly, I think the fact that that story just advances, that, that pretty much just killed it for me. I mean, that's sad to say, but I mean, my gosh. If story is key element, then let me enjoy the story. All right, so here I am. Let's see if I've got a map. I got a mini map, and if I just hover over here, there's a story quest, normal quest, repeatable quest, quest interim completion, quest complete. So I must be working on this quest. Oh no. I click on the map and I run to it. Nice. That must be where I've got to go. Yep. This isn't good. I really want to find the package. I'll send the recon team to search the place as soon as they come back. I think another solution just presented itself. Well, if I can get rid of the map. There it is. Alright. So click on the map and go. So here's Vincent. Oh, X. Gotta get close and hit X. Meet Vincent. Complete. Well met. There's Meet Vincent. Good. Not that all the sewer exploration doesn't sound fun, but we really need to speak with the Major. If you could just give us a pass to the shopping district. Alright, so this is the picture of the vampire guy. So this is like making an assumption that even though I'm solo, I am part of that group of four. That must be the spokesperson. So, uh, Cynic says this seems like it would be better as a console game than an MMO. Yeah, I'm I'm really feeling that. Definitely agree. This is more, more a lot more console-y than a major MMO. 
you know, but it has its place, you know. Some people enjoy that. I, I mean, I could see this as just a hop on. I mean, especially maybe once I got some missions and, you know, I just wanted to maybe hop in, do something action-oriented, run around, kill stuff, read the little comical story. But yes, this is definitely, definitely not a deep MMO by any means. And for some folks, that's perfect. If that's the sort of thing you like, this will appeal to the people who like that sort of thing. Eagle Claw said, I know I'm. <laughs> my wife's like, stop taking my quote. It's a good quote. I mean, I changed it up a little bit, but it's a good quote. Eagle Claw says, or at least with a controller on the PC. Now, that I might try. I've got this beast that I, I pull out on occasion for uh, certain games. It'd be nice if I had a wireless version of it, but. You know, this is what I've got. So maybe we'll try with the controller. I got it for free, so don't laugh. Uh, and Cynic says, if it gives you time to read the story. Yeah, see, and that's what's killing it for me. Here, I can read the story. But in order... The thing is, I've played games before that have cutscenes that the cutscene will play to a point and stop and wait for you to read the text and then advance this is like a cartoon running full speed and if you're a slow reader you're missing all this dialogue now I'm not sure if I can maybe go back I have got like a couple chat windows over here and I don't know if any of that is repeated and it doesn't look like it so that that story's gone uh, so that is kind of a bummer but I mean since there's nothing going on, it's let me read the story now, but these are just, you know, pick up the quests, which, if you know me, meh, and, you know, hit the right button, yep, well, that's not going on, but complete, oh, I must have hit the cash shop button, whoops, alright, combat maneuvers, I think we're good, maybe Youngby's very capable, All right, probably sick of hearing my voice by now. Well, I'm sure you'll do fine. Thank you. Oh, my room and an auction house. Nice. Wait, you're leaving us here? Yeah, see, they're not even in my part. Oh, now it's advancing again. It's just a random thing. Press the X key. All right, so I guess it's waiting to load up because I can't move right now. Oh, ugh. never mind chat. Hmm. Thought they were going to train me. Well, I tell you what. Since I'm here, let's see what my room does. Hey! Oh, today's luck. Power of knowledge. You feel too comfortable with your regular routine. Don't get too relaxed. Beware of strangers bearing gifts. Love lies to the south. Maybe you will meet someone special today. Aw. Alright. Oh, I got a pool table. <laughs> so now my question is, I wonder if you get to find items and then place them. I'm not ready to leave yet. Because then that would mean, you know, I have to do a show on, on housing and rusty hearts. I was kidding. But it does come with a personal storage, so if nothing else. All right, let's go ahead and leave. Let's go back to the shopping district. And then I'll check my map and see where my next quest location is. So there's a dungeon entrance, weapon shop, armor shop, another dungeon entrance. I can't even read that. What does it say? Ran? What am I supposed to be doing? What is my quests? Cash box, character, contents. One of these buttons was. I don't have pets, that's H. Quest tracker. Scout the canals, B3. Where do I go? Scout the third basement of the canals and return to Elma. It's got a red skeleton. Ooh, I'm going to get a boots. So then my guess would be. I, I don't know if it matters. That's a wanted board. I guess it doesn't matter which which dungeon I go into. 
So let's see what happens if I run down here. Ah, oh, look! When you're not in your dungeon, it's like a 3D MMO. Huh? Point and click on the ground movement system. Alright, so that's cool. I learned something there. I wasn't expecting that. Not the best control scheme under that situation, but there it is. Alright, so let's see what happens if I go in here, if this takes me to whatever. Yep, I get to choose the canals. Let the side scrolling begin. What are my options here? Normal. That's all I got. Probably you get to pick higher levels as you go up. Yep, so for now I just get the normal. Next difficulty level is hard mode. Entry requirement. I must be level 2 or higher. Clear the canals. B3 normal mode with a D rank or higher. So no problem there. Let's let's do it. So the canals B3 is the furthest place from the castle and also where you will start your investigation. In here you will find many skeleton soldiers that pose little threat. However, be wary of blood skeletons as they are much stronger than the rest. Hmm. Let's see what it's like. Well, since I'm there, I'm going to assume that's the way to go. Now, I'm trying to turn the camera so there's no 3D here. This this really is kind of a, a 3D side-scroller. I mean, 3D in the fact that I can go in and out of the scenery, but there is no camera rotation. So what you see is what you get. So i got to just remember to put my, my fingers down here on my basic attack. Oh, there goes my story. Oh, there's a bunch. So I'm going to make sure I just do lots of attacks boom 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 nice and that must be experience points that are floating up to me or maybe mana and health so I mean if nothing else it looks like they're going to I mean in the lower levels quite possibly I'm gonna not worry too much about my life. <laughs> there we go. Worst steel, worst linen. That's very cool names of equipment. So speaking of equipment, what is my oh actions in I can greet somebody. All right, there's my dungeon map. That's my character. Where is my bags? Inventory is I. Well, at least I got that one right. L for character. Costume, so I'm guessing maybe I can change appearance items. That's neat. And it said I picked up some worst steel. Yep. Crafting, so you must be able to obtain, yeah, fabric used to make fabric armor. So it has crafting. So what's interesting is for the type of game that it is, you've got crafting, clothing sets. It's very interesting. It's like an advanced, easy game. I don't know, hard to describe. Okay, so go, go, go. So we've got a bunch of folks here. Let that. Build up for a second. Hit him with my big one. And grab him. Boom. Grab him. Nice. Bronze card. Wiseman something or other. I picked up something green. So let's see. I got a wise man stone. An item necessary to upgrade various items. Nope, don't need that. So nothing really... Well, what's nice is I've got my costume slots, my quest slots. 
So at least if I need to carry quest items, other consumables. So that I mean at least it's kind of broken down a little bit. Much better than Ion. I mean I'm loving Ion, but it it's well that takes you you gotta spend some money to get your bags and stuff built up. This looks like it's already got quite a bit of space from the beginning. And I believe I think that must be an action bar, action points. What's down here? I thought this might be my experience. Yep. All right. So we're just slowly, slowly moving along. I am level one. Well, let's see if I can come away with level two. So next little section. Come out here and bash, bash, bash. Ow, ow, ow. It looks like I could play the game with nothing but the X key. However, probably to get those higher ratings so I can go beyond the C or D rank, you know, it's probably a matter of how quickly you run the dungeon. So you need to be wise on when to use your different abilities just to kill stuff quicker. So I might actually run this dungeon a few times so I can, you know, get a higher rating. Which, whatever. I'm actually not too unimpressed with the graphics. Um, it's not you know like a full 3D game or anything but for being a cell shaded anime type of thing this isn't too bad you know and like I said it's just a fun bash him up nothing deep and I do believe that you can make uh, a group so you can meet up with a friend and then the both of you can run through and go bash stuff there's some more worst steel hey I could bash that worst potion so let's see here if I hit him with that and then bap 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 at least on these weak creatures I'm not really seeing a need to really unleash the big stuff now I don't know how these other characters would play <clears throat> but this guy is not not a bad choice so this looks like where the boss would be there it is, encounter the boss. Oh look, someone grabbed his leg. Oh, the boss grabbed his leg. Ooh, I like the look of him. Oh, and his minions. Alright. Now see, here comes the boss, so I'm going to hit him with my multi-punch. Now I doubt that I can grab the boss. Let's get rid of him. Oh, that didn't work. Now the boss looks like I can just bash him. He's blocking. And then, uh, even though I'm doing that multi attack, he kind of gets out of, I push him back, he gets out of range so some of those don't hit. Boom, boom. Let's see here if I can get him with the, no, miss with the uppercut. Oh, he is a quick one, that's for sure. Yeah, can't grab him because he's a boss. Oh, got him from behind with the uppercut. And it does use some of my uh, ability points, but nothing. Yeah, nothing bad at all. Well, that wasn't that wasn't bad. They actually look kind of cool. Move to reward screen. Well, I'm kind of done. I got rank S. That's probably bad. <laughs> so the stage is clear. I got rank S. So I'm definitely going to have to get some better gear or just run through it, not worry about explaining what I'm doing, but just come running on through the mission. Because rank S, I can assure you, is not good. I got a rare card. So I guess that means, oh, spend 15 gold to choose a different card. Now oh, I don't even have any gold, so. Oh, pick a card. Now, let's go with this card. Hey, I got seven gold. Nice. Oh, I could have got light leather armor or eight gold. Well, I'll pick seven gold. So we'll see what shopping is like. And this is probably the... Oh, here we go. I can explore again, choose a different map, go to the dungeon store. Let's see what the dungeon store is. 
Oh, I can buy stuff for people. Well, since that's me, what is that? Light gauntlets. Oh, I gotta be level five. Mm. Yeah, can't get them anyway, so. We will go back to town. Oh, S is actually good. Cynic says that S is actually good. And Euclid says S is actually good. Third rank. Really? Where do you see ranks at? Like, do you just know that from other games, or did I miss a, a ranking? Because to me, I'm thinking S is way down the alphabet scale, so I'm not quite sure. That might be a, a rating system that's common in, in um, you know, MMOs. I just, I'm just not too familiar with that, so you guys will have to educate me. Alright, so anyway, I can turn this into him. Chat, is there anything? Oh, I guess I'm ready to turn this in. New skill. Well, there's a Dempsey roll. Oh, I can get level 2. They must cost money. Or skill points. Well, it's grayed out, so I'm assuming I can't buy it yet. So those, oh, level 6 or higher. So level 4, level 5, level 4. So this one I can buy for now. So powerful blow to the enemy's stomach. He has a chance to stun. Well, let's go ahead and take it. Yes. Takes 11 points. Special. No buffs. I have a bunch of passives I don't qualify for yet. Well, at least you have a lot of skills. That's nice. All right. And Cynic says, if you go to the Rusty Hearts Wikia, you'll learn. Eagle Claw says, best to worst is triple S is the best. Double S is good. S is third place, which is what I had. Then there's A through F. So the S is not bad then. I won't complain then. So let's take a look at, oh, Elma. Quest complete. So I can turn in a quest there. I'm going to wait. Well, you know, I'm going to go there now, see if I get some money, and then go shopping. That's just amazing. They got a wiki for everything. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Let's turn in. Maybe she's got a reward. Why, hello. She sure does. I got boots. Scout the third basement. Done. Doesn't look like I get any money, but I get to pick a pair of boots. Plate boots. I'm guessing this means I can wear any of them. Max MP plus 6. MP, physical, magical, defense. You would think plate would be the way to go. I'm not really sure how all this works. Hmm. Plate's pretty heavy, and I don't think... I'm not sure which one I should go with. So in that wiki, does it say which armor that the Tood guy should be wearing? Just out of curiosity. Because then that will give me an idea if I should pick up chain or leather or fabric. Plate. I definitely would like, but I'm wondering if maybe the plate's for the vampire. Or if it doesn't matter, I'll take plate. I'll see if... I'll put I'll put the people watching to work. So <laughs> we'll see if Seneca and Eagle Claw can find out which armor is best for the Tood. Because I'm really leaning towards plate. But if plate's going to slow me down, because I just, you know, part of me doesn't see this guy as wearing plate, but that'd be cool because his little gauntlet is some weird material. So he says, it says leather armor is mainly worn by Tude, but not much detail, so take that with a grain of salt. Eh, we'll go with leather then. I don't have a problem with leather. 
Then, Elm, I've received Vincent's report. He seemed to think he might actually survive. I guess I lost the bet. Well, whatever. And then, then Franz, you sent us off to fight in the sewers and can't even be bothered to say hi when we come back? Hi, Franz. Ha, ha, ha. And you must be Angela. My older sister told me all about you. I guess you didn't have any problems down there either. Turns out the sappers discovered an entire subfloor in the canals. Your next mission awaits. Well, there we go. Ah, Cynic says, it says you get a mastery bonus when wearing the preferred armor. So if preferred is leather, we'll go with that. So I guess I probably could wear anything. Oh, yeah, see, my, my reward would be plate gloves, chain gloves, or leather. Well, we'll just stick with leather. I'm not, I'm not too attached. Of course we don't. We don't need to be rude. So we'll just... And we're good. So now I get to go clear the canals B2. So let's get steering here. I didn't pick up any money. Oh, let me put my boots, my starter sword. I guess I really don't need a starter sword. Yep, for France. Oh, stinkers. All right, well, I'm definitely not going to do much with this. This is not getting a dedicated night. Uh, because when I put on the boots, it doesn't show. I'm wondering if I pick plate, if it would actually show something. I have a feeling this is one of the games where what I see, that's that's what I'm going to have forever. So even though I put different clothes, it's probably not going to let me pick other stuff. Which is sad, but, you know. I know from reading... Oh, there's a story quest up here. Hold on, let me go back. I know from reading different things I've seen about the game, you know, this was not, this is not a hardcore MMO by any means. It's just, just happens to be an online action game. So, we will take that for what it's worth. Let's get a quest. Join the militia. I get a reward of some sort. I will get a little, whatever that is. You're the new specialist I've been hearing about, aren't you? Rumors spread fast in this city. Yeah, well, there isn't much else to talk about. So you want to do me a favor? I'm sure it would be a simple task for soldiers of your caliber. Just clear the canals B3 on hard mode or higher. If you can manage that, I'll let you join the militia. The townspeople really respect members of the militia, you know. This sounds shady. I'm on the level. I assure you, madam, this is a great opportunity. Angela, don't waste your time with people like him. We have a mission. All you have to do is put your name on the list. You have to patrol the canals anyway, don't you? You'll get a collectible souvenir if you join up. Thank you. I'll protect the town while you're gone. He sounded pretty excited. He sounded like a moron. Well, whatever. So now let's hit the dungeon. See what we can do. And there's a Kikika. Welcome back. So that means I might have scored high enough to do hard. I sure did. So let's try hard mode. Oh, party of two or three players recommended. Maybe maybe we'll come back to that. And Akikika says, morning, and I'm saying to you, good evening. It's just shy of midnight here on my side of the pond. So we're going to skip the hard... Well, no, no. We're going to do it. Let's do the hard dungeon. I mean, what's the worst that can happen to me? What's the worst? Hmm? I mean, what's death in a game, right? We've already run through it once, so we know it's not, like, super, super long or anything. Oh, and I got that new skill to try out. Whoopsh! Which, I guess, if you connect with it, and look, here I am. I'm just using the basic attack key, and we're tearing them up. Boom! That was a big uppercut. Bronze card, worst linen, the wise man stone. Okay, we've recovered. So again, nothing traumatic. Oh, and it did stun him. I think that would be good on the boss. Hello, get up. Boom, boom, boom. Well, I'm glad I let you guys talk me into running the hard 
dungeon because that's not you know I mean again it's the first dungeon so I'm sure that you know I'm telling myself oh yeah hard dungeons no that's <laughs> what's so hard about those but I guarantee that as soon as we move on a little bit look because there, there's a guy in a slightly different colored armor oh the archer so I'm sure that this first dungeon everything is easy but you know once once you get in a little bit more I'm sure hard mode actually means hard mode so this is just to build that false false confidence I think and take some of that yeah console game feel definitely for sure something I would pay 25 cents and play at the arcade definitely is this a long-term sustaining RPG? No. Is it just a fun, fun pull up and just run through? Something to pass the time? Yeah, most definitely. Because it is kind of fun. Even though I'm just mashing my X key, I'm not really hitting my combos. It is kind of cool just, just bashing them up. Done. Did I pick up everything? And got another augment piece of some kind. Not very accurate with my special power anyway. Now what would be good is if I could mash these guys while they're on the ground. As it stands they have, no pun intended, they have to be standing in order for me to hit them. But if I could like do a face stomp or something like that, that would definitely be nice oh picked up something alright so what did we pick up got my inventory oh nothing in equipment cracked augment pebble augments equipment abilities to enhance abilities drag and drop augment stone onto item can I enhance my boots nope I wonder if I had to have them here Oh, I'm a, I augmented my leather boots by one. I sure did. Let's see if I can augment my practice gloves. I sure did. Augmented by plus one. Well, look at me. I am all powerful now. Let's see. Do I notice a difference? Well... Fatal blow, I guess. Boom. Chain kill. Bronze cards. <clears throat> oh, I can't go back. Oh, there it is. But I can go forward. All right, so before I go forward, now that I'm on hard mode, I anticipate that boss to be tough. So let me grab a little cocoa. Ah, uh, when the cocoa has a chance to settle and it's all super chocolatey at the bottom. Mm. All right, here he comes. Oh, I don't get the opening boss cinematic anymore. Well, okay, hard uh, because now they've included archers. I didn't have archers the first time I came through, so I could see further encounters being of similar you know possibly the first time through you see one type of creature and then you come through on hard mode and they throw in wizards and some such nonsense and the archer really doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot he is trying to keep away from me mm -hmm. alright let me hit this guy in the gut Ugh. oh he got me I was trying Boom! Oh, he's guarding it. There we go. I hit him with my special ability. Combo. Got him. Gee whiz. That was just about as easy as the first time. Got rank C. Well, shoot. That's terrible. Rank C is not so good. 
So if the S's are good, C, dang it, got some experience. All right, please select a card. Well, I'm going to choose this one. So I picked up, that's nice. So the little, little bonuses at the end of your mission. Uh, as random drops, I picked up four bronze cards. So let's see here if I get some cool piece of equipment. Oh no, I only get to only get to do one. Darn it. Eight gold. Oh man. Of course I miss all the good gear. Dang it. Alright, well, I think we're done. Choose a map. So now we're going to do the canal. So I did the hard mission. Now we'll do the canals. Enter dungeon. I'm looking for skeleton soldiers, the butcher is the boss, and the archers. So be kind of cool. Yeah, as much as I'm bashing on the game, I'll probably play it more often than what I'm leading on to. I mean, it is kind of fun. Oh, wait, this, this dungeon, this canal looks almost exactly the same layout. Heads up, some of the skeletons have bows. You know what? I'm, I've already fought some bow users. I'm not too worried. Because I'm just going to pick them up and beat the crap out of them. Ow, they hit me. All right, let's see what I get. Huh. So here I am, I finished killing stuff, and those little blue balls and red balls, those are like mana and health replenishers, so just killing stuff is going to keep me healed. That's good to know. And I don't see that archer actually doing anything, so we'll just come up here and bash him up. I missed. So you just gotta be careful and make sure you're aimed at somebody when you start bashing away, otherwise it's missed opportunities. Man, this place is really falling apart. Alright, so this particular canal is a slightly different layout at least. So it's not the same little maze I just kinda went through, so that's nice. And you're dead, and Boom, you're dead. Get some health and mana replenish. Ooh, that's a scary looking door. Hmm. Boom. So I wonder if that means I got to go up and around, unlock, you know, get some kind of key, and then come back and do that. Is my guess. So my little dungeon here might actually be like a little dungeon. Mm mm mm. I know, I'm glad they gave me skills, I'm just not using them at all. Eh. I mean, there we go. I used one. It seems like, well, at least on these lower levels here, my regular attack seems just fine. I mean, you know, if there's no need to worry about bashing those extra keys, I won't worry about it. Pick them up. You know, save those for the boss. This looks like uh, it for the first floor. Let's head back. There it is. Wait, watch out. Ooh, yeah. What's that coming through the floor? It's a fat guy. That's that's the butcher. That's no normal fatty. These archers are getting on my nerves. Well, you know what? This is what I do with archers and nerves. 
and that's what I do to fatty. I just, oops. I just hit him with my chain attack. Oh, hello. Wonder, wonder how many are going to come spawning. Alright, let's see here. Oh, I stunned him. Ow, he stunned me. Get out of there. Get out of there. Now, the nice thing is about killing them skellies is sometimes they will drop the little health. Well, they drop mana. Oh, Butch is almost dead. Let's just drop him like a bad habit. So, no worries there. And nothing to pick up, doesn't look like. And I got rank of B! Yay! B rank. Yay! No rare cards for me, so I'm going to choose you. 13 gold, yes! That was all, all right, 13. That was the highest gold value on the board. Yay! Picked good that time. Let's go back to town. So I've got to turn in. Well, just back here, both of my quest givers are there. Point and click. That's fine. In town, I can do point and click and then just hit X to talk. Does make me want to. Oh, the level 3, level 3 for all that. Well, I'm just going to stick with my leather theme. So we'll pick leather gloves. Quest completes, and now I am officially level 3. Well done. Looks like some of the monsters were sealed within Curtis Castle are trying to escape through those tunnels. Thanks to your hard work, I even let some of my guards have the day off. That's nice. So what else do you have for me? Quest. Gina sells clothes. Well, let's do it. I hope you're getting to know the people of this town. Have you met Gina over at the armor store next door? You should talk to her to have your equipment looked at or something. Is there a reason you want us to go there? So you're going to her shop? Great! Take this uniform order for the rena reconnaissance team. Wait, what's this? Are we your personal errand runners now? All of our soldiers are posted on guard duty at the castle. I don't see what the big deal is since you're going there anyway. Can't you at least pull your weight until this crisis has passed? Sure, let's do it. Please deliver it today. All right, you got it. I'm going to put on my fancy gloves first. And then, let's see, I picked up a Derringer. Okay, looks like I can sell those. And then we'll see if they've got any other gear I can buy. And now we'll talk to this guy. Uh-oh. Uh, coffee net. That must be the place. All right, well, there's the armor store. Sai being a big city would be a little more exciting. Or some such. Now I was hoping I could just mouse onto these folks, but I guess I gotta stick to the X key. Complete. Quest completed. And we're back. Piece of cake. I knew a heart of a militia member beat within that chest of yours. Listen, it was just part of our mission. Don't get too excited about it. But you all received the highest scores on record for the militia entrance exam. I'm sure you'll feel the respect and admiration of the townsfolk in no time. Great. Let's get another quest. Insignia of the Militia. I hear the reconnaissance team mission was a success. I think your heroic efforts deserve some sort of reward. Since you're all members of the Militia now, you need special Militia Insignia rings. Great. Not interested. But check it out. They even have a compass set in the face. Ooh, how tacky. All you have to do is clear out the canals B2 on hard mode or higher, and the rings are yours. Are you even listening to me? What's the matter, Franz? I want the ring. Well, we're going to do it. Now we're going to talk to Gina here at the armor store. Ooh, well, hello. 
Now uh, let's take a look at her assets. Bing. Complete. Delivery here for Miss Gina. Get 10 gold experience. That's me. But you're late. Yeah, well, I don't care. This isn't our real job. Elma just asked us to drop this off. In that case, let me apologize. That's just my default response for all delivery men. This is ridiculous. Here, this is from Elma. It's some kind of order form. Well, thanks for bringing it to me. It's about time she sent it by. You're the specialist I've been hearing about, aren't you? Is Elma's errand uh, runners considered a special mission? Well, I get iron pieces. Oh, looks like I'm getting set up for a mission. Uh, we'll just accept it. All right. Getting new shoes and killing stuff. This is what the big city is all about. Nice. Bye. Hello. Hmm. There's some armor in the background. Some well-crafted pieces there, as you can see. Um, oh, look. You can see the details on his claw. Well, like I said, the cell shading on here is not too bad at all. I have played games with much worse graphics than these, but if you're into the anime style, this is pretty decent, I think. Looks like he's got a quest. Ooh, he's got several. Kill skeleton archers. We'll do it, because I get a... Ooh, I get a new weapon. Sir, it is an honor to be working with specialists like yourself, sir. It must be tough being left alone to defend the town if there's an invasion. You should ask for a raise. Actually, I was initially excluded from the mission due to an injury. I volunteered to take a demolition just or oh, a demotion just so I could be here. You're joking, right? Not at all. We'll storm the castle and burn that monster Vlad at the stake. I'm just glad to be part of the operation. Aren't you excited to be part of the operation, Miss Angela, sir? First, don't call me that. Second, is there something you wanted? Indeed. I have a request. You're heading back into the canals, right? One of our scouts was injured by a skeleton archer during a recon mission. We can avoid the ones with swords easily enough, but those archers are causing problems. I'd like you to eliminate all the skeleton archers you encounter in the canals. You'd be doing a service to every brave Romanian soldier on this mission. Well, let's do it. Really? I don't know much how much we can help, but we'll try to get rid of a few of those skeleton archers. That's easy enough. How is the mission proceeding? I don't know. Let's do something else. Searching the filthy sewer, you mean? Oh, it's just great. Thanks for asking. It may not be glamorous, but you're really helping us out here. Yeah, yeah. We're pretty amazing. Did you need something? Well, now that you mention it, it should be a simple task for someone with your skills. Well, what is it? Spit it out. We've encountered a higher concentration of enemies in Canal B3 and need someone skilled to clear it out. Please be careful. And we'll just take this one as well. Did you come across a mysterious box while patrolling the canals? Nope, just normal boxes so far. One of our scouts lost a cargo container down there. Please retrieve it if you come across it. Fine, we'll keep an eye out for the mysterious boxes. Yeah. And there it is. Let's do it. So we'll come through here. Okay, what's ooh, what's very hard? You may use as many resurrection scrolls as you have available. It's gonna have a skeleton soldiers, red skeleton boss. Yeah, let's do it. See very hard is like. <laughs> now watch it be super, super, super hard. Well, I don't know about super, super, super hard, but they are a lot more robust. They definitely can take a few more hits, and they definitely do hit harder. Ow, 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 ow. But luckily they're still dropping those little health orbs. Oh, wrong way. Hunter's Voucher. Worst leather. Well, I am taking some damage. They're not healing me up as much. 
However, it's nothing that has me alarmed, and I do actually have some health potions if I need them, so I think we'll be all right. Just do a combo, walk away, recover, ow, ow, ow. And gold, iron. Yeah, I got an iron piece. Well, here's my quest tracker. So I've killed two archers. I have one iron piece. So I just got to keep finding everything else. Current rank D. Let's see if we can bolster it up a little bit. I did a big punch on him. Totally missed with my multi punch. That's not going to help my rank. There we go. I hit a couple. Oh yeah, I'm definitely feeling their punches now. I mean, fortunately, it's not like I'm about to die type of feeling their punch, but um, they definitely do have a little bit of a, a bite to them. And I'm, I'm picking up those health orbs but they're not they're not healing me up like they do in the earlier stages so definitely feeling the punch well and as long as you can turn and face creatures so even even mid combo before I hit my final punch if I have to turn the direction on which I'm swinging it lets you so I'm, I'm pretty much able to keep a nice constant flow of attacks here that's that's a good thing there we go got them iron bronze bronze card eh, I've got my health up a little bit I don't know what the hunters vouchers are Oh, that archer actually fired. I haven't really noticed the archer actually shooting before, but on the very hard mode, I actually, I actually saw an arrow go by. Yep, there's another arrow. So he definitely did pack a little wallop there. Yep, not now. Hmm. Bash, bash, bash. Well, there we go. Got a couple things. Take that. Oh, I've actually gotten back up in health a little bit. So I'll just stay on them and Yeah. So I mean at least this very very low level very hard mode nothing to really worry about. Like I said though, I probably would have a different opinion of it on a on a much higher level dungeon. So but as long as I keep punching, that it doesn't really seem to be letting them have much attack. To, oh. I was going to say I've been pretty much unscathed these last couple of fights and then I just got bashed right there. Oops. Let's see how my health holds up. Yep, max health. And this should be the red box. So if I'm lucky, we'll just keep up the luck here. Let's go beat up an archer. Now I know the boss will be beating on me, that's for sure. Oh, there's another archer. Now, at least when the group stands together, I can hit quite a few at one time. Okay, he's blocking. I thought I had another archer down here. Oh, there he is. 
want to stomp them on the ground. All right, let's try a gut punch. Didn't seem to stun him. Let's And, oh, oh, he was about to charge me, but oh yeah, what a piece of cake! That makes me feel very powerful, gnarled sword and something else. So probably the drops are a little more powerful as well, but I I definitely don't think it will let me solo too many of these dungeons. So enjoy it while I can. I'm gonna have to look at my quest and see if I found everything on that one one trip. I gotta do the next canal on hard mode for the one guy. So I really don't know what that means. Bronze, but mm. pick that. Twelve gold. That's it. Man, relic armor. Oh, so okay. So the more of those bronze cards and, and relic cards I pick up gives me the chance at more items that I could pick. So I had three cards. I noticed that there were three possible items I could have found. I just didn't happen to click on them. So that's cool. Alright, otherwise if you don't pick up any of those cards, all you're going to get are money options. Look at that. The more you play, the more you learn. So now we're going to do the canals on hard mode. And give it a shot. Now it said here use Z when they attack and then hit X to counterattack real quick. Who needs a counterattack? I just beat him up. Well, at least their hard is, I mean, it's on hard mode, but it is easier than the very hard mode I just got done doing, so. Well, actually, they do got some hit points. I think my concern would be how much damage are they doing when I get hit. Not too bad. Oh, look. Oh, you know what? Yeah, last time I came through, I didn't get to come back because... That, like, it went straight to the boss when I got to the end, so I didn't have a chance to find anything, unlock, and come back. So it's a good thing I came back. Now I get to see what's in there. So I'd be curious to see what other creatures they have besides the skeletons. I mean, I know they have more, but I kind of like their graphic style, actually. So I can't wait to see what other stuff looks like. Now I just wish what I knew what a hunter's voucher was. Looks like I got a couple more sections to go before I can see what was behind that magically sealed door. Mmm. Die, die, die. Bink. Nine gold. I didn't even didn't even look to see what they had for sale. Uh, huh. I need, I'm gonna need a new keyboard pretty soon. If all I use is this X key, I'll be able to like type everything except the letter X. Like I'm gonna wear this key out. I have a feeling the spring is gonna stop working or something. I'm going to rub the letter X right off the keyboard. If you go to somebody's house and they're missing an X key, you know they're a Rusty Hearts player. Is that the box Ryan was asking about? I think it better open the box. Oh. oh, man, I to totally missed. Had that surrounded by a group of folks and just totally missed them. Oh, the Book of Death.
bronze card. I like the bronze card. And we got everything. Now we just gotta run back through. Oh, hello. Another chest item here. An augmented pebble. Okay, there you go. I think this is the butcher level, so that's cool. He's kind of cute. So the bosses are probably all pretty cool. Well, I have to tell you, though, one nice thing about being a side-scroller and kind of the cell-shaded animation is the fact that you get a very smooth frame rate since it doesn't have to render a completely 3D world. It probably saves you some processing power and and then probably not because of the fact that it's cell shaded but mostly I think because it's not a completely 3D world that's what's giving me a really good frame rate so it plays quick and it looks nice come on bam just make sure I got all the drops Here's the end. Well, I can say that this would be an action MMO if you were going to call it an MMO because it's. I mean, I haven't. Uh, unless this is just a prologue still. But MMO stands for massively multiplayer. And to be honest, I ain't seen anybody but me so far. So I'm not quite sure how massively this is going to be. Oh, it was glowing. But I was going to say, for like a massively game, if indeed it is massively, I like it better than Terra. <laughs> oh, man. That's kind of sad. Which, oh, man, speaking of Terra, I know I'm, I'm playing something completely different, but I just got done reading that in the Korean courts. They were found guilty of stealing video game assets to make Terra. So that's pretty bad. I don't they said some of those developers of that from that company are actually gonna be doing some jail time, prison time, and they might have to fork over millions of dollars to NCSOF for stolen whatevers. Oh, Cynic says vouchers are exchanged for items at Nadia and Elma. Oh, okay, cool. I figured they were going to be some type of currency. Rank a C. So I got a possible possibility of picking up an item here. I got two out of, what is this, 12? That's not very good odds. So let's pick this card. Leather pants, which I've already got leather pants, but I guess I can sell them. Yay! Relic armor would have been nice, but I'll go with pants. I think I'm done. Contents, got it. Clear the canals. B2, hard or higher. Done. Canals, B3, difficulty level, very hard mode. Done. Um, yep, I think we're good. So let's go back to town. Got it. Had to get close to read. I'm getting old. Uh, let me check out my pants. Oh, look. I picked up some boots, tatter boots. They're chain. Meh. Eh. I mean, sure, they got a nice defense, but I'm going with a leather set. Now, these pants, though. These are magical light leather pants. They are better than my apprentice pants. So let's go ahead and wear them. Oh, much better. So there I go. And I can sell the rest. Now those cracked augmented pebbles, they actually did boost up stats, so I will keep them. And probably apply them. Just arranging my cord there momentarily. So let's let's turn these in. Oh I got a new skill. So we did that. Now I get to pick the weapon. So there's my gauntlet. What did he have? Magic sword. Yeah, let's go with the gauntlet. Done. Pipping. 
Welcome back, sir. We killed all the skeleton archers we could find, but I doubt we've seen the last of them. I wonder where they're all coming from. Did a bunch of archers die in the sewers or something? I'm sure you did all you could. If we had more soldiers like you, the castle would be retaken already. Well, thank you for the compliment. And the lost box. Done. We brought the pack. I got some potions there. We brought the package you asked for earlier. I hope it wasn't too heavy. Thank you for returning it in person. Heavy? All we found was this book. Huh? I asked you to bring the box back. So you wanted the box? I guess I'll just keep, uh, just be keeping this book then. The cover of this book tells me that it's no ordinary book. Have you read it? No way, it's sealed shut. I could probably get it open for you. Just hold it out and I'll give it a good whack. That won't be necessary. I'll turn it over to a specialist and see what he can do. Thank you. And let's get a skill. And I can do my better Dempsey roll. Got it. Accept. And now I can do a power stomp. Powerful stomp that targets the enemy's legs, causing them to fall. This attack can be used in midair with one active point slot filled. Midair. Well, we'll train it. Now, when it said stomp, I was hoping I could use it when they're on the ground. Any buffs? Not yet. Any passives? Not yet. All right. Well, I'm slowly building up some skills. Even though the X key just does just fine. So he's got no mission right at the moment. Let's go. Let's go turn into her. Or turn missions into her. We're not going to actually turn into her. That'd be weird. And quest. Oh, there was the exchange voucher. I'll have to take a peek. Scout the upper plant. What do you got for me? I've just received a report from the reconnaissance team. They've detected a buildup of toxic gas coming from the lower levels of the castle. Could the sewage treatment plant be offline? That's our theory. It's connected to the castle and can be accessed through the canals. It's old and has been evacuated, but should still be in working order. We just need someone to activate it. I guess that's us. I bet this was Vlad's plan all along. Whether it was sabotage or just faulty machinery, I need you to handle the situation immediately. I won't allow another Black Death to break out on my watch. Vlad, you really are a monster. Angela, let's go. Time was of the essence here. I'll mark the location of the machine on your map. You know, I'm watching these stories and so far, everybody is referencing Angela and Franz. So when they say that our characters come in later. So here's my theory now that I've, I've seen what they mean. It looks like I'm playing the game from the beginning. But my little character down here in the corner doesn't start popping up until later in the game. So I'm thinking what's happened is when the game first came out, they probably only had the two characters. So their story, you know, plays up to a certain point. Then they released this guy. He'll be in the stories from that point on. And then the other girl, because they said she comes in later. So probably that was the progression of the game. So instead of rewriting all the early dialogue to include them, now once they actually enter the story, you can tell, oh, that must have been when they introduced them to the game. I'm just, just thinking. Totally totally don't even know if that's correct but my theory because they don't want to go back and rewrite all the level one mission dialogues to include you know these guys so there will be a point where we start seeing them pop up in the conversations because I'm like how come everybody keeps talking to Franz and Angela when that's me doing it oh so it's a limitation of the game it's you know just, just the way it is yep see just her and the one guy Going there won't make me smell like sewer, though, will it? Well, I don't know. We've been to the sewer several times, and you haven't complained. Now, if I talk to her, there's my voucher exchange, and I don't think I can use any of that stuff. Level 22. Now, it does say I need lots of gold, or... Well, those are fighter vouchers. Where's a hunter voucher? Slaughterer. I guess at some point you must be able to branch out into a specialty. Because those look like, well, at least two, some claws there. But anyway, 
they want you to have like 95 seals or vouchers, 65 vouchers. I don't see for a hunter though. Maybe gladiator, gladiator. Well, I have hunter vouchers. I don't know if those count for anything. Well, there is one other person though that uh, Nadia is the other person. So maybe I just got to find the right person. All right, so he had a quest. Let's turn it in. I get my ring. Look at that. You survived. Here are your militia insignia rings just as promised. Hey, I think my compass is broken. No refunds. You didn't even pay for them, so quit complaining. I do have to admit, you might be hearing the stories and, you know, well, just me talking, but they're cute. I will say this, this is one of the much, much better translated games I've played. So at least if you're going to read something corny, at least it's translated properly. So that's good. Alright, what else you got here for me? Quest. Level 7, slay 100 skeleton soldiers. I can do that. I can do that in time. I just run through the first couple of missions. That's easy. So I've been thinking of a way to drum up support for the militia. And boy, do I have a good one. You're finally going to step down, huh? Oh, you. Always such a joker. No, what we need is a PR campaign. So you're going to kill 100 skeleton soldiers. The foes I have slain thus far are, are countless. Well, you can just start counting now. Eh, it's harder than it sounds. Fighting and counting at the same time? I'm getting a headache already. You'll kill more than a hundred of them one of these days anyway. Just accept it, forget about it, and the quest will be over before you know it. Um, well, he's got a point there. Darn right I do. Just come back when you reach 100. 100 skeleton soldiers. Well, I was getting bored because the enemies were so weak. It's not a bad idea to set a goal. Yep, there you go. And hilarity ensues. Well, yeah, that's Gina. I gotta go find... Oops, I clicked on the spot where I didn't want to click. You don't have the proper clearance to access the area. Still can't pass through. That's okay, I didn't mean to. I was actually trying to click inside the building to see what she's got. So what we'll do is take a look at her wares. And... I gotta turn in my iron. Complete. Oh, I gotta choose a reward. Not the red ruby shoes. No. Tude. That's my shoes. Hooligan. And they're purple. Oh, oh. Or I can take this diapsid thing. It's worth 3,000. Or take these boots. Their costume shoes. I don't know. Should I go with the uh, hooligan shoes, or should I take the jewel that possibly could be worth 3,000 gold if I sell it? What do you think? Take the shoes or take the money? I'll let you, team, decide. What's the bullpen think? Shoes or gold? That's if the bullpen's still awake. This isn't one of our normal games, so they might not be paying attention. They're paying attention. They, a they answered other questions. Are there any stats on the shoes? Good question. Nope. It says costume. Required level one. That's it. So something for my costume slot. I'm thinking they're probably a rare one of the kind, but you know, like maybe that would be an appearance item that might change his appearance. But yeah, there's no stats, so really I'm thinking, I'm thinking probably just take this stone and sell it for the money. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know. And Cynic says you've been complaining about no costume stuff. Well, I haven't been complaining. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, if he gets like plate armor and it's not showing. All right, take the money. I can buy some decent. I'll buy some new shoes later on. I'm sure. I'm sure opportunities will come up for shoes later. We'll take the money. I know. Cynic was like, so shoes. You know, it's not. It's not costume stuff necessarily I want. I mean, I want, like, you know, to be able to put on, like, you know, that plate armor and see the plate armor. You know, I've been putting on different pairs of leather stuff and I'm still wearing the same tattered jacket. It doesn't change. Hope this is enough. This should do fine. Thanks. Here are the shoes as promised. Take your pick. Oh. So let's see. If I sell armor store where's that little thing at consume other ooh there's my hunter voucher wiseman stone alright we're not worried about that but this bad boy yes let's sell it there it is 3000 gold I think I could put that to better use leather I gotta be level five, but I'll be able to buy stuff. So check it out, 300 gold. Yep, I'd be able to buy a whole set of level level five armor. So I think I think we'll live with that decision. I'm sure in the future I'll have more money than I'll know what to do with. But for now, well, Ruska is a blacksmith, and I can't even click to get back there. So can't see her. And I haven't seen a Nadia yet to see if she'll take the Hunter vouchers. So I guess I won't worry about seeing Nadia. And a wanted board. Ruben. Oh, the weapon store. Can't get in there yet. Fruit merchant. Alright, so that's in the places I'm not allowed to go to yet. Alright, no problem. All right, so I've got three missions: the slay a hundred skeletons, scout the upper plant, and the simple task. Canals B3 difficulty level very hard mode B. All right, I'm gonna have to do very hard mode even better. He runs like an idiot. What? Well, it's he runs anime e. He's like a ninja. What do you mean? Runs like an idiot. Alright, well, okay, so he doesn't run right, but Well anyway, I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm I'm good on this one. I think I've seen enough. So what do I like about it? Let's see, what do I like about it? I like the cell shading. I think the graphics are pretty good for an anime game. I've seen a few anime games that just didn't grab me, but I, I think this is good, the creatures are good. The players, you know, that's going to be kind of a personal preference, but I thought that the skeleton looked cool and the butcher and the bosses looked pretty neat. I like the fact that it's translated into decent English that I can understand and it's actually kind of humorous in a corny way. So that's good. Trust me. I've played some games that have some pretty bad English and that really kills it right there. But what else is good? It seems to have a few interesting things and in you know that, that are kind of basically thought out I do have a room so there's housing now if you can do anything with it who knows but I do have a room there's an auction house that's nice trust me auction houses are good I haven't looked at this one yet but I really hate having to look at people's individual stalls that's just lag and all kinds of problems so that's that's not good other pluses it's easy to explore I just hit my dungeon entrance tell it which of the dungeon levels I want to explore and I'm off and running so it's quick to get into uh, very simple controls there are combos and skills that you can use and if nothing else your basic attack key works just fine I've been able to do very hard hard modes even though they are level one the fact that I can still play with just the X key that's nice so it's not overly complicated. 
So there are a few pluses. So some negatives, the fact that it is a, a side scroller, if you want to play in a nice fully developed 3D cell shaded game, keep looking. I don't even know currently, I'm thinking if there is a cell shaded fully 3D open MMO. I think the one that comes to mind is Champions Online or Heroes, whatever that one. Not City of Heroes, but the other. I think it's Champions Online. I think they said that one's cell shaded. But as far as like a fantasy MMO, I can't think of any other cell shaded games. Yep, Champions. You Claw says Champions. So, has a unique art style there. Um, so the negatives. Yeah, limited world, um, not fully 3D, side scrolling. So it's kind of limited there, but if you're into side scrolling, it is actually pretty fun. What else is negative? I don't know. It's it's not bad. I think I would play this over Dragon Sang. Dragon Sang Online we looked at. I mean, if you're into Diablo, Dragon Sang is more Diablo than this. But if I'm just talking about pure opinion and fun factor, this is a lot funner. So, limited character customization as a negative. Yeah, for within the realm of the game and what they're trying to accomplish, I mean, it fits because they have a specific storyline you can see tied in. So, yeah, that's that's negative. Um, if you compare it to say, you know, EverQuest 2, which is also free, that actually has way more customization than this. So you're going to have to kind of look at what what are you looking for in your MMO. If I'm looking for a full world lasting MMO, this is not it. If I'm looking for an action MMO, yeah. See, Cynic summed it up earlier when he said this is this is a console game, and that's probably the best way to put it. Until I actually get to a part where there's other players. I probably won't even group up with people because this is this is an excellent online console game really is and if I did hook up my controller I would see if it even worked and it would probably work just fine with a controller so if you're looking for a good console game this is it if you're looking for a full-fledged MMO you're gonna have to keep looking which perfect world does offer some full-fledged MMOs like Forsaken World and perfect world so your options are out there. All right, well, that's about it then. Not a bad game. Definitely fun just to hop in, run around, kill stuff, do a couple missions, and feel like you've done something. Not bad. I will probably play it again. I don't know if I'll play it again for the show. I might just play it when I don't feel like booting something up and I just want to go kill stuff. This might be what I boot up for that. So with that in mind... I will let you all have your evening back. Thanks, everybody, for dropping by. I hope audio is better. I've really been trying to tweak and get audio better and not compete with the game, but let you hear me over the microphone and over the game. So hopefully it sounded better tonight. If not, I guess maybe this is just the best that I have until I get better equipment. So other than that, good night, everybody. Thanks again for dropping by. And if you see this on a recording or something, you know, thanks for taking the time to watch it. And tomorrow night, since I didn't date this, but it's a Wednesday night now. But for those who are watching in the bullpen, if you want, if you want to, uh, you know, check us out tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday. That's EverQuest 2. Yeah, Cynic says, I kind of wish I could hear some of the game though, but such are the trade-offs. Yeah. I I was tweaking with their sound settings, and this is like a super, super loud game. Let me see if I can turn. Obviously, right now, it's not going to do any good. I'm not in a dungeon. So let me just see if I can get... It is always a big trade-off. Some games are... It's like... Oh, now see, for me, that's super, super loud. Let's turn this down a little bit here. Now, the other thing is I've got... So I'm not I'm not sure if you hear anything yet, but the music is super loud.
And that's after, look, almost nearly putting it all the way low. Yeah, that's, that's about all I hear right now. Special effects, I'm not fighting. Ambiance. So I'm sure if I was to tweak it, we could get a trade-off between microphone and music and everything. Crickets. So, you know, next game we play, we'll just tweak with the sound settings so you can hear part of the game and then hear, hear me too. I'm not worried if you hear the game. I want you to hear me. So we'll just go with that. Well, I will say this, it does have good music and good sound, so that's another plus. Alright then, have a good night everybody. We'll see you tomorrow for EverQuest. EverQuest 2 night. Yay!